Hey everybody, we're back to talk more about the book One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia. Um, such a great book. If you haven't read it, look for the links below to check out your copy and then read it. It's so good. Then come back to us for this discussion. So the book takes place in Oakland, California in 1968 and three sisters leave Brooklyn to spend the summer with their mom. They meet all kinds of people. They learn all kinds of things in this really interesting book new place that's so different from um, the part of New York City that they're from. So some of the people they meet are members of the Black Panthers Party. Um, reading this book, you really learn a lot about that movement. I know. Yeah, absolutely. And it made me wonder, they learn so much about the Black Panther Party in this book. And it made me wonder, Gigi, what did you know about the Black Panthers before you read this book? Yeah, so most of what I knew about the Black Panthers was uh, stuff that I learned um, when I was a kid and in history class in school. And I remember learning that they were um, a, a militant movement um, that uh, supported uh, equal rights for uh, African-American folks in the United States. And they uh, were not um, averse to using violence. Mostly stuff that I think I learned stuff was pretty negative about the Black Panthers too. Um, so. Yeah, it was really, really interesting to learn more in this book. Yeah. yeah, same. I'm pretty sure that the history textbooks that we used in school didn't mention the Black Panther's free breakfast program. I looked up <laughs> no. the Black Panther Party in Explora, which is a database that the Denver Public Library subscribes to, and I found an encyclopedia article that was published in 2017, so you know, more recently than I went to school, and the first sentence I found about the Black Panther Party was this. The Black Panther Party was a group that was formed in the 1960s. It supported the use of violence to gain African American rights. The article doesn't talk at all about youth programs or the free breakfast, and I really didn't learn very much about the public programs that the movement ran until I was a grown up. And mm -hmm. I'm still learning more about the ideas that led to the founding of the Black Panther Party. I found some interesting resources about them that I'll link to below. For instance, on the website for the National Museum of African American History and Culture, I found a video of one of the founders of the Black Panther Party, Bobby Seale, talking about what the movement was for. He said, we want housing, we want clothing, we want education, we want justice, and we want peace. When I learn about the Black Panther Party, it doesn't talk much about those public programs, still doesn't, even today. Uh, and so it's just something that's really interesting and it makes me wonder, like, why is the story told this way? Why are these things left out of the story? And it makes me wonder, when they tell the story of today, of what's going on this summer, how will the textbooks say it? How will they, what will they put in the textbooks and what will Those they leave really, out? Really good questions to think about, Lisa. Yeah, that, that is a lot to consider. Um, so it's your turn at home. Uh, what do you think Delphine expects the Black Panthers to be like before she arrives? Um, in Oakland, and what are the Black Panther, Panthers that she meets actually like? What about now? How have the recent protests for Black Lives affected you and your family? What do you believe in personally? What do you What do you believe in when you when you think about this stuff? Well, thanks to everybody for watching. Um, let's take some time to discuss this fascinating book and come back for more Book Explorers videos. We'll be posting explorations of new books every month. Bye now. Bye, everyone.